Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with uh, my weekly bitch, my back issue comic call, and just want to go over still... Um, I still have quite a few of these books that I want to go over from the, the last couple, three months where I picked up about 2,500 or so books. And uh, yeah, just let's get into it here. And um, uh, I'm going to start off with, I used to do this. So I'm going to start doing it again, I think, just until it weans off. I'm getting sick and tired of it. But what the hell? You got to play the game, right? This is the obligatory uh TV, movie, hot thing, release thing. So, and Y85 uh, just mentioned this in his uh, newest video. So, good job on that, Y. I know you're watching and checking out uh, investcomics.com. It's a great site. So, that is this book right here. This is uh, uh, this is the first appearance of Lucifer, uh, Sandman number four. And they are doing a television show on this book now. And, of course, it is just jumped up in price because of it so uh you want this and you want lucifer number one i've got that coming i just haven't picked it up yet but uh so and then um supergirl they're doing a supergirl tv show apparently and i don't know what which version of supergirl and whatnot but i just i had found these in my box i picked up over the summer these came from a flea market and i paid a dollar each for this i just liked them that's why i picked them up and most of them are dupes um, this is Supergirl uh, number one. This is the second print, third print, but I like it because it has Batman on there. <laughs> so, and I think that's a dupe. So, if anybody's interested, uh, here's number three. This is the Michael Turner cover of that. And also, number four, this is the Incentive 1 in 10 variant. So, uh, variants, I'm I, like I mentioned, I'm not heavy into them i love them don't get me wrong just like everybody else but i'm not paying the ridiculously high prices they're asking when they come out and then five minutes later they're they're back down to you know normal um but i did if you recall last video i mentioned that i had stopped over and just picked up a bunch of books a bunch of variants from this guy that i met on craigslist and uh, and I paid like three bucks or so for him. And I came back I, the next day with one of my friends and he ended up spending a ton of money and I spent some more. And so I got all of these for like $2 each. And uh, these first ones aren't anything great, but what the hell, I, I wanted them. And, you know, these villains months, they're still asking like four, five, six, eight dollars a piece for these things. So I'm still working on them. I'm down to needing five um, rogues gallery there is. Deadshot and Poison Ivy I picked up. I also picked up for two bucks each. I picked up the entire mini series of Deadpool versus Carnage. One, two, three, and four. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, picked up Original Sin, the Scotty Young variant. I just liked it because it's, I don't know, I like Scotty Young crap. Uh, Thanos, the annual. I picked up both the Ron Lim variant as well as the Jim Starlin cover. So both very, very cool covers. Thanos, the final threat. Uh, this reprints uh, Avengers Annual number 10 and Marvel 2-in-1 Annual number 5, I believe it is. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, picked up uh, Spider-Man 2099 number one and amazing spider-man number one both j scott campbell and i'd already got uh received the uh the other one the superior spider-man i got that from matt uh comic hoarder so that completes the trilogy on that one uh picked up the uh uncanny x-men number one this is the deadpool state bird variant i just thought that was cool Another Carlos Barbary Avengers 24 Deadpool twerking cover. These first few aren't worth much more than five, ten bucks, but Iron Man number 23. What a awesome cover on that one with Deadpool with the infinity gems on his toes there. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number one Diamond Summit variant. The Lego version. Another Lego. This is Rocket Raccoon Lego of Stan Lee. That one's not worth much more in cover, but I just liked it. That's why I grabbed it. This is Guardians of the Galaxy number nine. This is the Shield variant, one in twenty. This is Uncanny X Men fourteen Shield variant, one in twenty. The Uncanny Avengers fourteen, one in twenty, and this is the all 
new X-Men 19 Shield Team 1 and 25. I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick up the uh, the Coulson version of that, too. Uh, Indestructible Hulk 19, the Mike Del, Del Mundo 1 and 30 variant. Uh, Thanos Rising number 4, the Mike Diotto 1 and 25 variant. This is cool. Thor, God of Thunder, number 14. The battle cover, which is 1 and 20. Cover swipe of 118 of uh, Journey into Mystery. Avengers, number 5. Carlos Pacheco, 1 and 30. Uh, Age of Ultron, number 1. The Brian Hitch, 1 and 25. These I love. This is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number uh, 7. This is the Lego. These are the 1 and 25 variants. Uh, there's Superior uh, Guardians, Superior Spider-Man, Infinity. Look at that one. Is that not cool as hell? Avengers. Uh, love that one, too. And Indestructible Hulk. So, got all those. 1 in 25 variants. Age of Ultron, Book 10. This is the Ultron variant, to, uh, Book 10, where Angela makes her appearance. This is the 1 in 25 variant, I believe it is. This is a 1 in 50 variant. This is the Mark Brooks variant. And this is the only way you can tell. Um, Uncanny X-Men, number 4, the Mike or Chris Anka, 1 in 50 variant. Uncanny X-Men, 1 in 50, the Frazier Irving cover. The 1 in 50, Gabrielle Del Otto, Uncanny X-Men, number 1. Uh, this I love. Age of Ultron, book 7. This is the Francis Yu, 1 in 50. Look at that. Wolverine fighting Wolverine. Is that not cool as hell? Um, this is Age of Ultron, number 6. The Carlos Pacheco, 1 in 50. Wolverine breaking through this cover here. Cool as hell. Uh, Inhumanity, number 1. The Nick Bradshaw, 1 in 50 variant. Um, Avengers, uh, Adi Granov, 1 in 50. The, uh, this one I like. Avengers 4, Del Keown, 1 in 50 with uh, Black Widow. New, the new Avengers, Joe Keonis, 1 in 50. This is Avengers AI number 5, the Mike M McEwen, 1 in 50 with Doom on the cover there. Cool as hell. This one I like, the Ulysses Fanonis, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is Captain America Living Legend number 1, the 1 in 50 variant. Once again, I paid $2 a piece for these. One in 50 variants for two bucks. That's unbelievable. Um, this is Thor God of Thunder number one. Uh, the one in 50 variant. Amazing X Men, the Dale Keown uh, number two, one in 50 variant. Love that cover. Uh, the Brian Hitch, one in 50. Mighty Avengers number one. This is uh, number two, one in 50. Um, Fantastic Four, number one, the Dave Johnson, one in 50 cover. Uh, Infinity, part uh, one, this is the Jer Jerome Opina, one in 50 cover. This is Hunger, this one I was super happy to have. Hunger, number one, the Neil Adams, one in 50 variant. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Paola Rivera, uh, first Angela appearance, one in 50 cover. Infinity Part 4, the General 1 in 75 variant. This one I'm super happy to have. This is the Mighty Avengers number 1, the Grand Land Deadpool Party Sketch variant. I believe this is a one per store cover. And this one is a one per store cover. This is the Infinity Deadpool If I Had a Face Like Thanos Sketch variant. So very, very happy about those. This is Walking Dead number 95. The reason I'm showing this is that this has the preview to Rachel Rising in that. If you're a big Rachel Rising fan, you might want to look that book up. It is garnering some big attention. This I showed the other one, the ver uh, Fre uh, Freddy version. This is Jason X by Avatar. This is the Platinum Foil 15, 1 in 15, uh, fi limited to 1500. I don't know if you can see that or not. That was kind of cool. Um... Marvel Presents number two. This pre completes my Marvel Presents run. Uh, picked up another copy of Marvel Spotlight 28, the first solo Moon Knight. So if anybody's looking for one, let me know. This one I thought was really cool. I found it for a buck, and I saw this on investcomics.com, how to collect Deadpool books, ones to look for. This is Marvel Spotlight, and it came out in 2009, and it shows the first appearance of 
Deadpool 2099, as well as other things in here. Really a cool cover. That's why I picked it up. Picked this up for a dollar, a uh, second copy of it. This is Marvel Team Up, the first uh, black outfit. So if anybody's looking for that, this is cool. Thunderbolts number one, the American Entertainment variant. But this is signed by Mark Bagley. It does have the letter of authenticity right there. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I'm going to end it right here. This is Vin Crew signing off.